Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeff Bull Central, the only place on the internet all your Jeff Bull Central entertainment demands microtransactions in lieu of actual feel-good childhood memories. Uh, we're doing a how much uh, how much does it suck gaming segment uh, for one of the more contentious AAA action titles of the year 2017, uh, which was Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, a lot of people really, really despise this game. Um, even though, you know, EA and DICE have gone a long way towards making it much more palatable, much more enjoyable. I've got maybe an alternate take uh, that the loudest critics uh, on the internet uh, maybe would not, would not uh, share themselves. Um, but, you know, if you're, if, you're, if you're not super familiar with Star Wars Battlefront, it's a franchise that goes back to the early part of this century. It's weird when you say it like that. Back in 1900, Star Wars Battlefront took all my money, and uh, I didn't. My Wookiee didn't look any different. Um, so there were two games made back in the day, and then EA and Dice, the the fine folks behind uh, the Battlefield series, um, decided to pick it back up, and you know. The, the first Star Wars Battlefront of the new gen, uh, new generation of gaming systems and PC and everything. Um, it was a pretty good game, um, but I think I think most people agreed it was just missing a little oomph. It was missing a little something. It was missing more maps. Uh, the game modes were kind of not inspired. The mechanics were not inspired. You know, they switched to this star card system thingy. Whereas opposed to actually having some kind of like modifications you can make to your character, your weaponry, or whatever it is, you had to put like cards in and out of a hand, like you're playing like you're playing poker, Star Wars poker, Sabak or something, right? Um, and you know, Star Wars Battlefront II, uh, which came out a couple years later, kind of coincided with the release of The Last Jedi. Um, it continued that trend, but you know, let's be honest, there there are improvements to the gameplay. For the sequel, um, there's improvements to the basic kind of proctoring of how the star cards work and all the power-ups. There's way more maps, especially now since um, they released a lot of free content for this game. Free? Now you can't complain about free. Lots of people do, but you really can't. Um, even even in light of the whole microtransaction thing, and that's really uh, what the controversy about this game boiled down to. You 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 could pay to play. You could pay to win. If you if you spend enough money, you could have these microtransactions, open up these stupid crate loot boxes, and you could get stuff that was better than everybody else. And it was bullshit. It really was. And I would absolutely agree with that. Uh, f more than this, as the game was when it originally launched, actually leveling all of your heroes and all of your just base you know uh, units and stuff. Uh, it was laborious, it was, it was boring, and that was really a shame and a misstep on uh, EA and DICE's part because the actual basic gameplay, the shooting, the online experience, even to a certain extent the campaign, oh, the, the campaign's weak. I'm not, I'm not even going to say it's not, the campaign is weak. But the first game didn't even have one. Again, improvement. Okay, credit where credit is due. It didn't even have one. Um, but, you know, all of that nonsense with the microtransactions and the poor leveling system marred what is actually a very fun shooter. Um, and, you know, if you grew up a Star Wars fan, you understand that your fantasies as a kid usually involved tons of, you know, lightsaber battles and blaster fights and armies of stormtroopers going after armies of rebels or clone troopers, whatever, whatever it was. And this game lets you live that. And I think it, I think there's value in that. And I really do hope that you know when they release Episode Nine here later this year, they haven't announced the Star Wars Battlefront Three, but I figure it's coming. I figure it kind of has to be. And maybe they'll finally get the mixture right. So as the game originally launched, great game at its base nonsense BS, you know, around pretty much every other aspect, I probably would have given that game a 7 or an 8 if I had reviewed it at the time. Um, but here's the thing. 
they these guys have really really gone a long way to try to repair uh, community sentiment and make this game more enjoyable. Number one, the whole crystals thing, where you actually buy the crystals. They don't exist anymore, really. Not to purchase. The loot crates don't really exist anymore. Um, the leveling is really smoothed out. Like I said, they introduced a lot of free content. Stuff from The Last Jedi, stuff from Solo, stuff from the prequels. Um, and it's a much more balanced, enjoyable, fun shooter. So, Here's what I would say. <coughs> cough, cough, cough. If you played this game back when it came out in 2017 and you hated it, play it again. It's good game. It's good game. It's good. It's good for you. It's good game. Uh, you're not going to be disappointed. If you thought you hated it, try it again. If you never played it, play it in the first place and don't listen to all the naysayers. People say nay too much. The year 2019 should be called... 29 nay. <laughs> yeah. 29 nay. So, um, that's all I gotta say. How much does Star Wars Battlefront 2 suck? It doesn't. That's what's gonna blow so many people's minds. Not anymore. Star Wars Battlefront 2 does not suck. None. Nay. Yeah. So, that's it for Jeff Bull Central. Give Star Wars Battlefront 2 another spin if you were disappointed. Uh, I think you'll be surprised. It's a good game now. Seriously. Not so bad at all. Also, oh yeah, oh yeah. Do me a favor. This is one of my short story collections. This is the newest one. Uh, Brave New Multiverse Collection. It's science fiction, fantasy, horror. It's very funny. It's very adult. This one's kind of cool because it combines like screenplay format with short story and a lot of unexpected fun ways. I think you'll like it. Ciao!